Hey, here's Joe again and welcome back to the Uncertain Light at the End where we just arrived back at our shelter and we're supposed to do some plumbing over there. Which tells me that I'm gonna go, go everywhere else to try and see and look Duck for stuff. Deep. It'll patch the pipes, but I'm not sure for how long. Okay, it's let's take that. It's not home without duct tape. Yeah, duct tape is the be uh, best thing ever. You can fix everything with that. Emily, do you want to have a look at the boiler? Emily, do you want to have a look at the boiler? Because when the guys removed the lumber, I was the first in line. This is horrible going so long without hot water. Unfortunately, it's not working. I have no idea how to fix it, and the men aren't doing a darn thing about it. It seems like it'd be easy for them. I know, right? But they always find something more important to do. Not showering might not bother them, but we really could use some fresh water from the well. Then we won't have to keep looking for bottled water all the time. There are no nanites here. Alex checked the samples. But I can't fix them on my own. Park would help, but he's out on a sortie. I'm no expert, but I'm willing to try. Although, the last time I tried my hand at plumbing, I flooded the neighbors below. I'll see what I can do. I could really use a little luxury myself. Okay. Yeah, I knew that we would have, have to do the plumbing. That's the last thing my they said to me. My dad was always wrestling with the plumbing. He'd ask me to get these from the garage. These? I'm sure I'll find a use for these sooner or later. What are these? Rubber sears. Yeah, there are rubber sears. I see that. But why are they squares? That's not how... I. If I'm thinking about rubber sears, I'm thinking... Uh, like round ones with a hole in it that you put like in between two pipes where they connect an old electronic microscope brian likes to keep it handy once we realized that nanites in the water supply were what caused people to lose consciousness we started checking the levels regularly okay found you you little pests before nanites were used for medicinal purposes now, it's practically as bad as poison. Yeah, they will render us unconscious so that the authorities can collect us, I assume. I tested water, it's fine, it's crap free, no freaking nanites, but I still wouldn't go drinking as the filters haven't been cleaned in over a year, definitely full of all kinds of garbage by now. We need to use the boiler, it's older than Stonehenge though, not even sure whether it works or not, I'll try testing the different modes when I have the time. What's that? Okay, that's a cassette. Are we talking 50s now? <laughs> Claire said Matt joined the group not long before we did. On the day of the incident, he lost consciousness at home like so many others, but the robots didn't find him. I guess he was just lucky. Out like a light. I always envied people like that. Brian found this on one of the upper floors. Everyone wants to do something for Vera. Maybe having someone to look out for keeps our spirits up. Yeah. Riding in style, huh, Vera? Looks cozy. Not like those mattresses we've been sleeping on. Too small for me, sadly. Yeah. Even after the medicine, Vera doesn't seem to be getting any better. Damn it. Olga, you okay? We wanted to warm up. The weather's been terrible lately. C click Anything I can do for you two? I was going to ask the boys, but maybe you can take a look? Vera's crib's been squeaking. Maybe the joints need oiling. Okay, I'll check it out. Hey, I know we haven't exactly talked much, but I wanted to ask you... How did I end up in this mess? Seems like you and Matthew are in cahoots. Sorry, if you don't want to talk about it, I get it. Rick. That's her father's name. We met after... Everything happened. Ended up in the same group. He was... special. You know? 
And yeah, we got caught up in the moment. A few days later, Rick and the boys got caught. That's how I ended up alone and pregnant. Before the incident, I was a school teacher, surrounded by kids, even though I never had any of my own. Not that I didn't want any, just didn't have my chance. Now, I don't even have a choice. I hate feeling like a burden, but I know Vera and I make things more difficult. Tijolo. Just like I know we wouldn't have survived without the group. Don't say that, Olga. None of us thinks you're a burden. Спасибо. Thank you. At least now we've got a roof over our heads. Maybe a little too cold and wet for a child, of course. But at least it's better than sleeping outside. How's Vera doing? I'm not sure. I don't think she's getting any better. And I don't know what to do. She had a tough time with the cold when we were out looking for shelter. This is bad. And I'm not sure what else we can do. Back in the day, we'd just call a doctor. Can't do that now, though. I just hope she doesn't get worse. The nightmares I've been having still have me rattled. In one dream, I sat up in bed, but Vera was missing. Not with me, not in the crib. I panicked, frantically looking for her everywhere. People just stared at me like I was crazy. Who's Vera, they kept asking. That sounds awful. Don't worry, we all know who Vera is. I should get going. Sure. She is definitely not a burden. She is... What is the future? There must be something I can do to keep it from creaking so loudly. Okay, we must find something. These are the two. Maybe find something in the kitchen, like vegetable oil might work. Don't want to go in there yet in case that progresses my game and makes me... Oh, I hate that I can't look to the upper house because they found stuff there. Uh, let's talk to bossy man. Alex is just in his element. Given the choice, he'd probably sleep here with all his hardware. Not right now. Knowing Alex, he'd just send me to check up on Claire or Matt or on some other tedious errand, like waiting for sunrise or something. <laughs> waiting for sunrise. What tedious thing. They're working hard on the taser. I hope we don't have to use it. Oh, we'll have I'll to. I'll try fixing the boiler myself first. Alex is always on edge. Best not bother him unless I need to. Okay. Rechecked on them just to make sure they don't have more errands. Don't click on the boiler, do everything else first. Oh, that's a magazine again. No, that's uh, just the thing for the boiler. 0, 0.0 micrometers ultra filtration. A temperature range and stuff. It's the LRP 300 on guard of your family's health. We might need to relook at that if we like need stuff. This is all we have. I mean, this is the boiler, but this is all we can interact with. And I want to find something for Vera's thing. For Vera's crib. And I just need to double check if we like missed something. Maybe we just have to... Or maybe I didn't pick up something in one of the uh, acts before. Or you have something? He earned it today. Like trying that again? Maybe it will just show the same thing again, then I can't skip past it. It shows the same thing. There must be something I can do to keep it from creaking so loudly. Yeah, but we don't have anything to use, so all we can do is go to the boiler. Or do we have something in our inventory? No, we only have double rubber seals and that. This thing looks ancient. It's a miracle it's still up and running. It's not, that's the problem. This thing's never gonna work. But I could get lucky. Maintenance necessary. 
The pipes are riddled with holes, which is why the boiler keeps shutting down. Okay, can I now interact with more stuff here? I mean, I see that. That's all I can interact with. Okay. Look at that. Oh boy, looks like we could get flooded any day now. Need to find a way to patch those holes. There's nothing I can do here, not without tools. First thing is to patch any leaking pipes. So make a seal. Here we go. I mean, we could have used duct tape, Oops. but the other seal is dirty. Better make sure it's all properly secured. Ah, okay. Now we need and duct tape. And now for the tape. Let's seal it all up nicely. Did that throw away my duct tape? She did use a whole thing of duct tape for like three little... You're such a all mess. Right. I patched Emily. the pipes, so let's try to equalize the water pressure. Okay, mini game I suppose? Yes. Pipe leakage detected. Please resolve the issue. Uh, if I say one here, it gets added one. Okay, we need one, two, three, four, five. We need five here. Um, four and one. We need one, two, three, four, one, two, three, minus four. Minus six, minus seven, plus three. We need minus three, which Holy, is that. It worked. I, I kind of can't believe it. What's that buzzing? Emily, did you get it working? The boiler, I mean, it's fixed. I think so. We should try running the shower. Mother's first, of course. No objections from me. Wow, Emily. I'm very impressed. Well, how about that? Little Emily fixed the boiler all by herself. Just a basic leak, big deal. The baby could have fixed that. <laughs> Maybe even Matt. Stay focused, Brian. Let's wrap this up before we line up for the shower. Alex and Matt are such assholes. Anyway. Plenty of time to finish up. Taser's okay, done. the taser is ready. It ended up being more work than we expected and frustrating. But if it works as advertised, it might still be worth making one for everybody. Think of it as a prototype a trial version i hope you won't have to use it but i'm also dying to see if it works looks kind of cheap it better not fall apart in my hand how does it work the taser is effective at a distance of up to one meter give or take theoretically it'll fry robot circuitry like an egg people too most likely so you better be careful with it and remember matt i'm looking at you it's not a toy. The taser's experimental. Reliability and durability aren't exactly something we've been able to test, so use it sparingly. Emergencies only, you got it? Relax, Gramps. I know my way around a gun. So what now? You got another genius plan? Tell me I'm wrong. I told you already. We need to find others. Survivors like us. We've been hiding out for over a year. We can't just wait for more of us to get captured. So what are you suggesting? That we take this thing out and search for some robot brains to scramble? Of course not, but we need to connect with others. We can't be the only ones left in the city. We've already tried to radio other people, but the signal got traced and we almost got pinched. It's dangerous business, you know. That was using the transmitter from inside the hideout. What about sending the signal from somewhere else? I don't know a lot about this stuff, but there has to be a way to do it undetected by robots. Just people. What do you think, Brian? No. No way. It's too dangerous. We can't risk losing more people. I don't care. Anything's better than starving. Emily's right. We can't just keep sitting on our asses waiting for a miracle. Exactly. We live like rats, we'll die like rats. We have to find out what happened and how to fix it. I'd rather go down fighting than living in hiding. And besides, this time we're armed. Little Emily is right. I've got an idea. SNBC. The TV studio where I used to work, get it? 
robots don't watch television. So my guess is that the building is probably empty. We could send a signal and set it to loop. So as long as we leave quickly, the cops can't find us. Are you out of your mind? You're actually going to risk crossing half the city. What if something happens? You think you'll be able to outrun them all? Of course not, Alex. I'm an old man. No kids. Sarah's gone for a long time now. What do I have to lose? If we can help the younger folks, it's our duty to try. Right. Brian, we know we can't do this without you. You worked in the studio, you know the layout. We have to go together. That's what I'm talking about. It's high time this old man stretched his legs. There's no way you're going. You thrill seekers and adrenaline junkies are gonna get us all killed. Don't you see what it's like out there? How many people do we have to lose for you to wise up? Will you please stop shouting? Alex, I'll... I'm going anyway. Even if I have to go alone. You're not going alone. And that's final. Matt? God damn it. Fine. But only because I like you. Ah, to hell with you. He doesn't have lip He's movement. That's strange. That's strange. strange. When the damn cops scoop everybody up, don't come crying to me. That's it. I'm going to bed. We're all turning I in. think we'll lose Alex. Rest up and prepare yourselves. We leave at sunrise. I suppose this game is mostly about making Alex happy so that he doesn't go away or something like that for the good ending. Although it's all the bad choices, like telling people what I don't think is the right thing to tell them. Same with Matt. But we shared a drink so with him, that here. will help. Are you sure this place is really safe? Well, Brian, think it's safe inside? I can't imagine they'd have much use for this place. True. They communicate through the network, not television. All the same, we should keep an eye out for any stray service bots that might be still inside. Let's go then. Wait! I know, I saw it. I mean, well... Yeah, right. Pipe down, you two. Are you trying to alert all the drones? <sighs> that might have been a situation where if we were like... Whoa, that thing's huge. That's art. A security guard? What the hell is it guarding? If it spots us, everything goes south. So be careful. First, we need the power back on. It seems like only the emergency lights are functional. We also have to turn on the backup antenna. The primary one looks like it's been to hell and back. We're not here for sightseeing. Robots inside means we can't mess around. Let's split up. I'll deal with the antenna. If you and Emily can get the power back on. Just tell me what I need to do. Wait, what? Are you serious? What if we come across a security guard and we've only got the one taser? I think we should stick together. Okay, okay, all right. Here, just remember, it's only for absolute emergencies. Hopefully it won't explode. What about you? Don't worry, I've been through worse. Just keep an eye on the old man. Now, where do I find that antenna? The elevators don't have any power. The doors are jammed. You should take the stairs up to the third floor. You should be able to find it up there. Instructions for bypassing the primary antenna should be nearby. Probably taped to the wall or something. Hopefully, no one took them. Wait until we restore the power, then turn it on. We'll all meet back at the communication center on the second floor. Sounds easy enough. I'll head up. Don't get into any trouble without me. Do 
okay, 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 okay. So I think this is like a game where like your little choices matter in which like people survive at uh, the, the end. Youth of today. All right, little Emily, let's go. So, where are we headed? We need to get to the breakers. That's where we'll find the backup generator controls. It's straight ahead, right through the office. But in its current state, we'll have to find a way past the security guard. Could we try using the taser on it? No. Too risky. There's no way to tell what would happen. Let's save it for an emergency. Yes. Ah, uh, I'm not allowed to go that way. I see you. Same situation here. Wait for him to turn around. This is all the same game again and again and again. Same game again. Wait for him to look at me. Wait for him to turn around. Hopefully you don't have to do this 20 dozen times. One times again. What? Why? <laughs> they have only put in the directions for us. Great, thank you. I can't see what I'm supposed to press here. I assume it's A. Wait for the robot to turn around and go the other way again. It will first come to me here. And then we have to wait for it to turn around and look the other way. Um, should have just gone left, uh, gone right instead of left. A bit, another bit. Okay, wait for the robot to first come to me. Then look at me, then look away, and then we can move on. Okay, this is the most boring part of a stealth game. The most boring part, the waiting. I mean, it's a crucial part, but it's still a boring part. Should be working. It worked. Uh, I haven't hustled like that in years. We're lucky he didn't spot us. Let's go. The breakers are in the far corner. Let's find something for Vera. Or just give me that power cable. We know it's a power cable. We had that before. Not going to the far corner yet. First, we're looking here. Most important things more cables. Ugh, how can anyone get work done here? I hate offices. It was a weird lighting glitch. I don't know if it also was in the recording because I can't, can only look at one screen at the same time. Three cables now. We'll be looking at the far corner in a second. Shift to walk slowly is still such a stupid command. The counterintuitive command. Boring. I gotta fix that. Oh yes. We have time for that. Okay, maybe not time for that. Could be a bit faster, Emily. Do your graffiti faster. I mean, she was a video game artist. Software much better. thing. I yeah. never realized how much I miss drawing. It was great. I like that. Go through. 
Don't need to talk to every door. Okay, and these are servers. Well, well. These are running what servers. What do we have here? Ah, it looks like someone shut the power off on purpose. Well then, we'll just have to fix it. Now what? Some components are missing. The cables have been ripped out. I don't have the right parts with me, but the TV studio should have what we need. Can you search for them? We need three. I have what I need. Nice. Always be prepared, as Dad used to say. Yeah, I already have it, but we want stuff to fix Emily uh, Avera's crib. Oh, that's a controller. Nobody needs that. The Normandy? Cool yes, of collection. course, the Normandy. Uh, I guess the admin here didn't have a whole lot to do. Uh, that's Skyrim. So with the Skyrim X, we have the Normandy, we have the controller. I don't recognize those two, but that one might be something you're familiar with. What are you? What is this thing? It's the emergency backup generator for power failures. It can power the entire building for about a week or so. It seems to be online, so what are we doing here? Looks like someone turned it on a long while back. Maybe a year. It's working at minimal capacity. Just enough to power the essentials. Probably why it's still got some juice left. Once we bring it up to full power, it will only last a day at best. But we won't need any more than that to transmit anyway. The auxiliary antenna doesn't hog as much energy. Okay. And then we have the cables for you. Uh, Ryan's look. Ryan's really in his element here. He looks like a mad scientist. And that? This isn't the time to chat. Gotta find those cables first. I also shed with my hands. Hey, check it out. Will these work? They're going to work just fine. I just wish I knew what order they need to be plugged in. I could really use your help, Emily. Would you mind taking a look at the distribution console there? Okay. Next minigame, yes. You'll need to cycle power through the blocks. And let me know when the LED turns green. That'll help me figure out the cabling sequence. By the time we're done, all the blocks should be active. <laughs> you and Alex really love outsourcing this kind of work, don't you? I'm on it. Okay, that's all we have here. Brian's waiting for me to redistribute the power. We know. That's why I wanted to look at it instead of touch it but whatever we are supposed to what move the numbers into the cells so that there's some equals the indicated value okay so 18 here so with the drag and drop ah okay putting some nines in there um To the big numbers so and wait we have six one two three four five six seven eight by three it's 24 and up there it's six times five that's 30. they don't need to be filled or five six seven eight times three is 24. six times five is 30 okay we don't need to fill them, we don't need to use every nine. Okay. So, uh, let's start with nine, nine, nine. It's, it's weird how it doesn't work as I want it to work. There's seven, there's 14, we need a two or two ones. Fifth block lit. No. Uh, 16. Block two ready. The trouble Fourth will come with the done. last one. When we are so far. Yeah, we don't get any ones left if we do it like this. Maybe do a five. And a three. And a one. 
The first block is active. Then a seven. That's sixteen. That's too much. That's too much. A three and a one. Yes, all the blocks are easy. On. That's not even a mini game at all. <laughs> I mean, not a hard one. Yes, it's all lit up like a Christmas tree now. Okay, we should go. The lights are bound Thank to attract you, some Titus. cops sooner or later. Do you hear that? Sounds like Matthew fixed the antenna. Come on, let's head up to the second floor. Okay, and with that, we're done with our fourth episode of The Uncertain Light at the End. Uh, we'll be coming back tomorrow with more exploration of the TV station. Have a nice day, see you then. Mm -hmm.